What's up, Caravansary? My name is Eric Inohosa. I am here to give my workshop for you from Los Angeles, California. I'm a filmmaker and content creator. So today we will talk about three techniques that I have used in my recent videos. Here in the United States, California and New York, we got hit earlier, so we were more concerned sooner. Uh, I think just now, the middle of America is going to start to get more cases. People will start panicking. But yeah, it's been almost a month now that uh, people have been asked to stay indoors. I've been staying inside. This is my apartment. Let me give you a quick tour. It's very wide. I got a high ceiling, got lots of natural light coming in. I have a scaffolding, which I love. It's, um, I use it for art projects. Uh, I recently had a model hang upside down and hold paint and drip the paint so it looked like the paint was falling up. Um, I also use this as a platform for like, this is my projector. I'll project images onto people sometimes and do like photography that way. I'm a filmmaker, but I love doing everything. I love doing photo projects. I love customizing clothes. Like here's my little paint corner and I like to paint shoes. So I, paint, I painted these. Here is my filming area. That's my sleeping area. I guess that's it. It's a pretty quick tour. I'm not Lebanese, but I lived in Lebanon for three years and I go back almost every year. I feel like a friends and family, Habibi. <laughs> okay, so the three techniques. Cinemagraph is probably the easiest of all of these things for you to do today. This is uh, probably the easiest thing I'll show you for you to do at home today because you don't need any extra equipment. You just need uh, a camera. Almost everyone has one now, right? At least your phone. It's best to put your camera on a tripod. Wait for that siren to finish. It's a very simple, easy thing to do. Uh, get your camera on a tripod. If you don't have a tripod, you can rest it, you know, stack some books and try to get a good angle. And first you, uh, you take a picture of whatever you want. And then you uh, record video of the same thing. And then afterwards, you mask out a piece of the video and put it on top of the picture. And it's that simple. So for example, if we were to do one right now, you wanna find uh, something that will have a good motion. So I'll take this light bulb. By the way, this is a clip that I use to put my phone on my tripod. Uh, on Amazon here in the States, it's like $20, $15. So wherever you are, hopefully you can get it. Set the timer. This is gonna be a, a picture. Okay, so that looks good. Um, so then we switch to video. And then, so I'll take a video of the same thing. This time I got the object moving. And then afterwards, I mask out the object, place it on top of the picture. The reason that I take the picture is because it's usually a higher resolution or a better quality. Um, you could just take a freeze frame from your video and use that instead of your picture. I've done that before, but taking a picture, better quality image, so your final result is gonna be better. And I have to make a general note. If you are thinking about getting into video or doing video projects, now is a great time. Things have changed so much. Come on, focus. Come on, baby. Give me the focus. Things have changed so much in the last few years. Something I feel very strongly about is how much consumer cameras have improved in a couple of areas. One area is how stable your footage can be. When I first started doing filmmaking, it was really hard to get a stable shot. Now, um, the new phones have automatic stabilizers. The new iPhone is amazingly smooth. You can be moving around. The new GoPro is crazy, uh, crazy smooth. So you get stable footage. Um, and also you have access to uh, really advanced features that before it used to be really expensive. So for example, this is the Insta360. Um, I know most electronics are more expensive outside of the US, but here it costs something like $400, 500 max for a 360 camera. That's crazy. A 360 camera gives you so many possibilities. You're shooting in 360 degrees, so you have the choice of choosing footage from anywhere that you want. Now, you combine the 360 camera with the extended selfie stick 
and oh, the possibilities. Now, because the Insta360, like GoPro, and like the new iPhone, has incredible stabilization, you can get the camera very high and very smooth. So it really feels like a drone. And I'm gonna use an, as an example, um, the opening shot of one of my recent vlogs where it looks like the camera is flying away from me. Ah! No! Really, all I did was take, I had someone else shoot it, but party trick alert. People love when I do this. This is a real crowd pleaser. People love that. So I had the cameraman hold this above me when I was sleeping and he just kind of like, he held it right there where I was and then he lifted the camera. So you can order the extended selfie stick online. I've also used it for an iPhone. Um, it really works best with the Insta360 or maybe a GoPro because of the stabilizing and also because it's such a wide angle. When you're up there, you can't always control it that well. So it's good to have a, a wide angle to choose from. By the way, this is very important. I want to point out my socks today. This is very important. <laughs> you gotta find your happiness somewhere. Is a, a clone effect that um, I used it like a year and a half ago in a commercial. And now I'm seeing it everywhere. If you're active on TikTok, which I really recommend, TikTok is an amazing platform right now for creative ideas and inspiration and just positivity. Um, everyone on TikTok is doing this clone thing, which is cool, all right. So great, I'll show you how to do it. Um, it's very, very easy. You just do the gesture that you wanna do. So you have to kind of imagine how you want it to look in the end. But let's say, you know, uh, you want to have your hands up here. And then afterwards, you take the footage at the end, create a freeze frame, extend the freeze frame, mask it out. And then whenever my hand arrives, you end the clip. It's that simple. I mean, that's a little advanced for editing, so, uh, I, but I don't want to go into it too much. Um, I actually do have a tutorial on my YouTube channel. I don't think now is a good time to go into a lot of detail, but I do think it, it's important to, to see how simple it is. It's a really simple thing to do. If you want to do a, a moving camera, you can do even cooler stuff because that's, that's what my, my commercial had, the camera moving. Um, and then I also did an Instagram post where I was just doing some dance moves with this girl and that camera was moving as well. It's the same idea as the clones, but you, uh, you track the clones into the scene. Um, you, can, you can do that using After Effects. After Effects has a tracker in the program. Um, there's also a plugin that you can use in After Effects called Mocha. And Mocha is, is even easier to get a really good track. Any questions about that, feel free to message me on Instagram, Eric Director. And that's all I have for today. Um, I would encourage you, even if you're not a video creator, to document this time somehow, whether it's through journaling or writing or something. Uh, a daily vlog is a great idea because this is a historic moment. We will be looking back on this time and remembering, like, remember how crazy that was when everybody in the world was inside? I think uh, everybody is an artist. If you look at kids, right? Like kids um, are making things spontaneously. It's, it's in you. It doesn't have to be like great or, you know, whatever it is. The biggest reason we don't create is uh, judgment. We judge ourselves. We're afraid we're going to look bad. We're afraid what other people think. And you shouldn't. You should be kind to yourself. Take off the judgment. Just go make something, uh, especially now. I think it's an amazing time. And I think you will definitely, in 20, 50 years, really be glad that you made something to remember this time. Thanks for watching. Bye!